Now, I know this might be a little bit late as the Pixel Fold has been out for a couple of months, but I got an urge the other day just to buy a Google Pixel Fold because in the past couple of years, I've only ever tried these folding phones and flipping phones from Samsung. So the Z Fold 4, the Z Fold 3, the Z Flip 5, all of those sort of phones I've tried and never really got on board with. And I thought one of the biggest problems was there's a Samsung phone. It was a One UI experience and I just didn't like it. But this year I've gone from using a Galaxy S23 Ultra to a Galaxy Z Flip 5 to an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now I'm here on my Pixel 8 Pro and I love everything about Google Pixel from cameras to the displays to Android 14. So I thought, right, let's go ahead, let's go and buy a Pixel Fold and let's see if this can finally convince me to go to a folding phone. When you go to the Google store and you want to pick up a Pixel Fold, you have two colors. You have a black color and you have a porcelain color. And I will live by this till the day I die, that a white phone, porcelain, silver, that sort of stuff, is the absolute best color choice for any phone. So I'm going to pick this up in the white porcelain color. Before we get started, though, and unbox this Pixel Fold, I am tantalizingly close to 10,000 subscribers. So... If you've not seen the videos before or the channel, then subscribe to the channel if you can, because that genuinely would really help. But let's get into unboxing that Pixel Fold. First of all, that Pixel Fold box looks so good and it's quite easy to undo this box like any other sort of box. Pull those pull tabs and you're in. And as soon as you take that lid off, you can see it right in the middle there, that Pixel Fold. Fold it up and in that lovely Google paper that they have. Then underneath that Pixel Fold, you get the warnings, which you get with all folding phones. And basically it's telling you, if you push too hard on this inner display, it will break. So you just need to be careful with it. In the box, you get the Google piece of paper, which I will never read. And you also get that USB-C charger in the box as well. But let's go to the actual phone because that's the most important thing. And all you have to do is peel back this nice little bit of paper and then you have got it there. This is the Google Pixel Fold in that white porcelain and it looks so good as soon as you get it in your hand. This is a bit chunkier and a bit heavier than I thought it'd be, but actually folding it over and opening that screen is really easy. So let's just go through the really quick setup of this. Welcome to your Pixel and it's quite a straightforward setup process. It's essentially just clicking next on a couple of things, signing into Wi-Fi. But while it's setting up, let's just have a look at the back of that phone again. And that camera visor on the back of this Pixel Fold looks so nice. And one of my favorite things is that it will close actually completely shut. So getting in dust inside of that inner screen is probably not an issue. And you know what? It's a bit thicker than I thought it would be, but also at the same time, a bit thinner if that makes sense you get the option to copy all your apps and data which i'll do and bring it back when we are done but just while it's setting up i want to have a look at those bezels really quickly and you can tell that they are definitely there but when the screen is black it kind of just like blends into the side and they're not as obvious as i thought they actually might be for security you've got the fingerprint reader on the side here on that power button which is a bit irritating because I really do enjoy the under the screen fingerprint reader and face a lot. But when you have these phones side by side, so the Pixel 8 Pro and then the Pixel Fold, you know what? I've got to give it to the Pixel Fold. It's so much nicer. Like having those flat sides rather than those curved edges, I think looks a lot better. But that camera visor, again, I think looks better on the Pixel Fold. And then you compare it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max as well. And I, I difficult this one i do really enjoy the 15 pro max but i've got to give it to the pixel fold it looks so good and i think this must come with an older version of android because this is definitely not android 14 on it at the moment so i'll probably have to update that but again let's just have a look at those bezels now the phone is all set up and ready to go and it doesn't seem that bad the bezels i'm not mad at they're all right i quite like them the really nice thing about the Pixel Fold is that the crease down the middle is always going to be there. You can see it on this. But in my first impressions of this, it seems like it's not there as much as something like a Galaxy Z Fold. It feels like I'm feeling that crease and seeing that crease a lot less in the first 24, 48 hours with this Pixel Fold that I did when I was using the folding phones from Samsung for a lot longer. The Pixel Fold is also meant to fold completely flat when it's open, but mine it doesn't. And it seems to have something that's just stopping it from folding fully. Like it's 98% of the way there, 
but not 100%, which I'm not sure whether they're meant to completely fold 100% flat, but I'm pretty sure they are. The big thing that I miss on the Pixel Fold already that the Pixel 8 Pro has is the under the screen fingerprint reader. And I've gone to put my thumb on that fingerprint reader on the screen so many times while using it. It is on the power button on the side of the phone. And it's fine, but having that under the screen fingerprint reader is something that I didn't realize that I even missed properly until I went to the Pixel Fold. It does have face unlock as well, but you have to go into settings and turn this on because when you set that phone up, as you've seen already, there was no option to put that face unlock in. And actually, the face unlock on this is not as good as the face unlock on the Pixel 8 Pro because the face unlock on the Pixel 8 Pro is secure enough to be able to use it for banking. And this one isn't. You have to just use your fingerprint whenever you want to go into something that's using your biometrics to keep it secure. The display on this as well is so nice. And I found myself actually forgetting that this phone even folds open in the first 48 hours of using it. It's nice and square and it's boxed off and I like it. I like the display and kind of the size of the display on this more than I do on the Pixel 8 Pro. And the Pixel 8 Pro has such a nice display and I've mentioned it already. It's one of my favorite displays I've ever used on a phone, but the Pixel Fold is pushing it. If you have a look at those folding phones from Samsung, the screen is just too narrow and it's too tall and it makes it really hard to use it. But on the Pixel Fold, you can use this all day without even having to open it. And I think I quite like that. I like the idea that I don't always have to fold it open to use it as a proper phone because the outer display is really nice. When it comes to battery, I can't talk about it too much in the first 48 hours because it's still not learned how I use the phone yet. And also I haven't used it a huge amount, but when I have used it, I've been able to get to the end of the day really easily with at least 20% battery left. And that's using that inner display and that outer display simultaneously. So that's been really nice. The cameras as well on the back of this Pixel Fold, I've not had chance to play with yet because in the UK, it's minus three at the moment and it's too cold to go out. So I've not been able to go and take any good photos or videos from this, but that is something that I will have a look at when we get to the full review of the Pixel Fold. The Pixel Fold that I got also came with the older version of Android. So I was wondering, hang on, this looks a little bit odd, but actually what you need to do is go into settings and give it a system update straight away so you can get Android 14. And I tell you something, Android 14 looks so good on this Pixel Fold, especially on that bigger inner screen. It just looks like it's made for it. It looks so nice and it's so easy to use and the widgets look so good. I'm a fan. I'm a really big fan. The bezels on the Pixel Fold was probably one of the biggest talking points when Google announced that at its event quite a few months ago now. But I'll tell you something, it doesn't bother me. They really don't bother me at all. It's nice to be able to have something you can hold rather than touching the screen. And it might look better if that display went from corner to corner, edge to edge, but it's way more practical and it just is having that bigger bezel on the outside. And that's it. That is my first impressions and unboxing of the Google Pixel Fold. And I'm not sure why I've waited so long to pick one of these ones up, but let's just see if Google can even tempt me over to a folding phone because Samsung haven't so far. And now I'm so in that Pixel world with the Pixel 8 Pro. This could be the one, we'll see. Let me know in the comments though, if you've had a play with the Pixel Fold and what you think of it. And are folding phones even for you? I'm still not 100%. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel because like I mentioned, 10K, so close, very, very close. And if you do that, then I shall see you later.